Hey guys, happy Sunday to your faces. Hopefully your Sunday. It's bloody Saturday. Come on, get it together, KJ. <laughs> happy Saturday to your faces. Hopefully you're having a good weekend. Um, I just want to say, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little review I recorded during the expo of the 890. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a review review. Like, it's not like I know this ship and I'm reviewing it. This is literally just the first impressions of me being me and looking at a new ship, okay? Uh, also, there's no video tomorrow. So Sunday, unfortunately, there's no video tomorrow. Just FYI. Um... Obviously, if you saw yesterday's video, you know why. I did say in that video that, you know, there was a lot of things I wanted to do after that video, but because of the end of that video, the outcome of that video, I was unable to do those things. Um, so the video that I had lined up all depended on yesterday's video, and if you watched yesterday's video, you know why. Just go watch it if you haven't seen it. But I have no video on Sunday, okay? I'm actually, I would typically get one up and I'd just record today. Um, but I just, I'm not doing that because I got some other stuff I got to do. But anyway, you guys don't care. I'm taking a day off. It is what it is. <laughs> I'll see you guys on Monday. But anyway, there's this video to watch yet. So go watch this one and enjoy it. And hit like now because you might forget to do it at the end. Or maybe you'll fall asleep. Or maybe you'll get distracted. Just hit the like and then enjoy it. Goodbye. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Star Citizen, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see from the title of this video, uh, this is a review of the 890. And by review, it's like a first impressions review, so it's not going to be the most in-depth, like, real, like, professional review. It's my review, okay? So this is the review of the 890. Um, it's a massive, beautiful, luxury yacht of a ship, and I can't wait to, uh, to see what this thing's all about. We're currently laying down in one of the best, most beautiful beds in any of the ships in the verse. And you're probably thinking, where the bloody hell are you? Well, look at this for a view, ladies and gentlemen. I'm laying in bed, and look at this for a view of Port Alisar. I mean, you couldn't get much of a better view if you ask me. Uh, but anyway, this isn't what we're doing here today. So I'm gonna get up, because this is actually the 600i. If you want to see a video of this one, the 600i, then um, click the link in the description. I'll make sure that I remember to put the link in the description. But this thing is incredible. I've this. By the way, this isn't a review of the ship in the link in the description. I literally, um, it's it's the expo day eight, I believe. So you'll get to see a lot of the origin ships, and then I also do a big, you know, review of this one too. So that's if you want to see this one. But guys, we're not here for this. Oh, we're not here for this great view. We're here for this bad boy down there. The 890, which I've parked beautifully at Port Alisar. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to that. Because that is the ship that we're here for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I was going to do that ship in the same video as the review one I did with the exit ship. Of, the, of this ship, the 600. It was day 8, I believe, of the expo. But I felt like it was so big. I couldn't really do it. So that is what we're doing here today. That's why there's a lot of 890s around too. Because everyone's... Uh... This video, by the way, is recorded during the expo that just happened. So this is day 8, I believe. The origin day of the expo. So if that's how you're wondering how I got these ships. It's because it was recorded during the expo. And this is my alt account. My other one's still broken as of this video. I don't know. By the time you're watching, hopefully it's been fixed. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and jump down to the 890, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure... I can land, and there's a, a nice little door I can come in on the side, right there. But it doesn't look that big from the distance. But look, that thing is massive. And look how small that looks now compared to this. I'm sure someone's going to steal that because I did forget to close the door. But it's fine. We're done with that thing now. Now it's all about the 890. This whole top you can see right there is glass. The entire top is glass. So I'm pretty sure right here is a nice little door. So I can get into the side of the ship without, like, you know, dying. Wait. I thought that was my ship. No, that's just another 890 coming in. Oh, my. See, now you up close, you get to see how big this thing is. It is a behemoth. All right. But this should be a door that I can open. There we bloody go. In we go. And that's it. Oh! <clears throat> you didn't see that. You didn't see nothing. <clears throat> I need to fix that little... Uh, that ledge. I need to fix the ledge. There's something on the floor there. Yeah, got to fix that. There's something on the floor that made me trip. I don't know what it was. Someone fix it, please. All right. So anyway, it's been real. Wait, is that the Starfarer? 
You know, I had a love-hate relationship with this thing. I thought I loved it. Turns out, I hate it. Nah, I don't hate it. If you want to see it, I have a video on the channel of me doing some trading in that thing too. We did like a $600,000 trade in it. It was a lot of fun, but uh, go check it out. It's on the channel somewhere. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the 890 Jump. One of the biggest ships in the game. Um, especially the biggest luxury ship. But this is where you enter, right here. We're not going to fall down there. I think it's just a glitch. I'm pretty sure this thing's here. But uh, you come in, enter the ship from up there. And this is where it spits you out. So as you guys could see, that is an airlock or a docking lock. And this is the same thing on both sides for docking. Obviously, this ship right now, you can't you can't even like get it from the hangar at um, Port Alisar anymore. You used to be able to. You can't anymore. But the docking, which is this thing right here, supposedly they're going to introduce soon. And you can dock. You ship a port saw. I don't know. You guys probably know more than me about that one. Um, and then we have some escape pods right here on the sides. So that's it. That's it for this. Can I close this door so you can't see it? I'm pretty sure you can, right? There we go. Yeah, so you can close those doors. So this is the ship. This is the 890 jump. This is the ship that I've been excited about, ladies and gentlemen. It is absolutely gorgeous. We have the marble floor. We have the... I love the plant life they have in it. It just makes everything just so much better. And then here we go. Main room. This is what you walk into. Look at that glass roof. Like, gorgeous or what? You can see Port Alisar's rings right there. Just absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. So, first things first. We'll go to the left here again. It's got like that marble-looking floor. And it's just... This is one of the bedrooms. The doors do open and close. I just opened them. But... Absolutely gorgeous. Imagine this. Imagine this is a private suite. I feel like I should take my helmet off. Is that better? A little bit better, right? Origin makes makes sense. We're in an origin ship. But this, ladies and gentlemen, imagine if you came and stay in this thing and this is your bedroom. I would stay in here 100% for, for at least, I would, yeah, I, I would live in here. I would live in here. Let's have a little look at the bathroom. Bathroom, gorgeous, massive. It's... <laughs> This ship is just absolutely insane. You got a toilet here. And then it's the exact same thing on the other side. Now, this is a fish tank, which I would love to have a fish tank like this in my bedroom. The only thing is, I feel like it would be noisy. But hey, this is way in the future. So this they may have found silent fish tanks. But then this. So this is a beautiful bed. But you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But I do remember reading somewhere that this white like board or like white wall is actually... A screen like an LED screen that you can choose what you want so it looks like a window so you can have like um, like the ocean out there you can have like the snow you can have the woods anything like that that's what this thing is supposed to be and um, I don't know when that's coming but it would be cool imagine just this whole thing is like it would look like the ocean or you know like the woods or something it would be cool it would be cool but anyway this is sick Fish tank, sick. Bedroom, sick. And it's the same thing on the other side. There's two of these. Um, the 600i, if you want to go check out that video, I think it actually has more bedrooms than this. I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't explored this thing yet, but I think it does. And then, of course, on the other side, it's the exact same thing. And then you got your bathroom right here. It's just all uh, the opposite. But I love it. I love this ship. I, I haven't explored the whole thing yet. Like I say, I, I started exploring it, and I was like, I need to do this ship on its own video. All right, so then as soon as you walk in, you've got this little sitting area. I do love that. I just love... I love the plant life. I love the plant life. Just a nice, cool little seating area, I guess. Let's see. And then on this side, we have engineering. We're not going to go down there just yet. And then this... What is this? An elevator. I'm sure the elevator goes to engineering. And then this is like an escape pod. So you can get your crew in here, You can, and then on the other side you can see there's another one, it's the exact same thing. Get your crew in here, get your family, friends, and then this will break off and throw you out. It's just a nice cool escape pod. Um, so engineering, and like I say on the other side, we have the exact same thing. And boom, mind your head, same thing though. Escape raft. Oh, so it's an escape raft, pretty cool. And then we have a lift. So I don't know, This the other side had a lift and a staircase, this one... Just has a lift. But we'll go check out engineering real quick. See what's down there. Like This ship's just so big. Look. Escape raft, crew deck, engineering. Do I want to go check this out first? Or should we check out? You know what? Let me out. Oh, God. I think I just... 
I'm pretty sure I just fell. I think that's a bug. I think I just fell through the lift. All right. So, yeah, I 100% got stuck in the elevator. I had to kill myself and now we're back here. Be careful in the elevators, ladies and gentlemen. They ain't for everyone. We'll check out engineering and all that stuff later, though. But let's first do the first decks, which is, I mean, incredible. So, first of all, let me take my helmet off. Okay, back to normal. Uh, so, this is it. It is, oh, my God. Look at this wood. This thing is just, look at it. It is good. You can hear the water flowing. Little hot tub. Oh. <laughs> Wait, don't die. Okay, tip to anyone. Don't go underwater. You cannot swim. <laughs> but this is beautiful. Look at this. You got yourself a nice little hot tub. And then we've got a pool as well. So before we get to the pool, which is down here, you have this room, which is just gorgeous too. You've got a sauna. You can chill out in your little sauna. I love saunas in real life. I love the smell of the wood. But you got one sauna, and then you actually have two saunas, which, you know, just in case. And then you've got a bathroom here. If this door, wait, is it open? Not a bathroom, sorry. A shower room. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't mind if I do. I mean, this is insane. I'm sorry. It's, it's kind of overwhelming. So you can go to the foyer, which is a bar, lounge, dining. You have a spa and pool, which is where we are right now. And then you have a hangar. And then you have, wait kitchen and crew why does this one say it's, it's I don't know anywho and then up here what is this what is this just a changing room I think these are just changing rooms same on both sides yeah changing room all right nice beautiful pool the size of this it would be cool the here's the thing with the pool I think it would be better if the pool was actually like you could see the stars while you were in the pool that would be sick. I think they messed up there. But, you know, you can't win them all. But let's have a little look at the pool. How deep is this thing? We're not going to... Did I start dying? I mean, it's pretty deep, but it doesn't look like we're dying. So we're, we're, we're great. But yeah, beautiful pool. When I first saw this pool, I was, like, blown away. So I apologize. My enthusiasm on the pool isn't exactly... Oh, my God! But I've seen the pool before. But I'll tell you, the first time, it was just like that. All right, let's continue on. I love the greenery. I absolutely love the greenery. All right, let's continue on. Let's continue on. We're not going to use the elevators right now. We're going to take the stairs. Um, okay, wait, what is this? See, this seems like a bit of a wasted space. All right, upstairs. What do you got for us? Trees, again, absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. A weird... I don't know. I feel like this space... I love the marble floor. But I feel like this space could have been used for something else. Because this is like the centerpiece. Like, look at this. I can't wait to go. We're going to go through Quantum. And we'll see what this looks like then. But, wow. Alright, so we're on the middle floor. Middle floor. What is middle floor, supposedly? See, I can't even tell. I can't even tell. Is this a door? It's another bedroom. Alright, beautiful. Same bedroom. Same concept. Gorgeous. And bathroom, I'm assuming. Yep, exactly the same. Okay, so we just have another bedroom. And another bedroom. Yep, exactly the same thing again. Beautiful. We like it, we like it. And then what? What is this? So we have the elevators again. But this. Bathroom. Are these all just bathrooms? A lot of bathrooms. I guess, you know, it is more of like a... Oh, that's why. It's a bloody bar. Let me in. I can't get in the bar. Doors aren't working. Oh, there we go. All right. See, now this is sick. Especially with the windows. This is... Guys, this is so cool. This is... I love this ship. I love this ship. So you can have a little party in here. Have everyone over as the floor thought the floor was like flashing but i think it's just it's not supposed to be uh then you got the bar area beautiful another beautiful window we're gonna have to look through all of this when we're in quantum and then you got another 890 which is just it's dying it's dying it's been there all day don't feel bad for it it's been there all day i'm pretty sure the 890 is like indestructible right now too you can't really damage them um all right what's next in the front another okay so this is more like dining area so you can have some food and then, okay, 
like a conference room. Got like a conference table. And look at this for a view. We're going to look at this when we're in Quantum. But, I mean, this, what better place to have a meeting? Look at this. It's just drop dead gorgeous. Like this ship, I'm going to have to buy one. I said I love the 600i, but this is just incredible. It's just so, you need a big crew though, you know what I mean? You can't, Doing this by yourself is just kind of pointless, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right, I actually didn't notice this. What's this door? Kitchen, I'm assuming. Yeah, this is like where all of your staff would be. You've got the staff elevator right here. And then you've got the main people elevator. So there shouldn't be a door here, right? No, okay. So yeah, you got the staff elevator on that side. And then on this side, you've got the main guest elevator. Cool. All right. I like it. I like it. This little thing seems like it's a waste of space. Should have put some seats or something here. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just complaining. And then we're on the top level. Little seating area just hanging out. See, like this sort of stuff, I would understand if it was like a cruise ship. You know what I mean? Like there was just a lot of people. But considering there's only, well, one, two, three, four guest rooms I think I've seen so far. Why would people be sitting up here? You know what I mean? Why would you be here and not in some of the other spots? But, you know, I don't know. Anyway, beautiful views as always. Can you walk up here? I mean, you can. Should you walk up here? Probably not. But either way, nice views, nice views. Why does it look like I'm pooping? Alright, I like it. I like it. What else have you got for a ship? So that way... Is the bridge, I believe. So let's look at the bridge first, because I feel like that is going to go somewhere else. Like, that's going to be... I don't know what's back there, but... So this is the bridge. The origin bridge. Exactly what you expect. Just a beauty. You got your two co-pilots. Co captain. Or pilot. And then your star map. Alright, beautiful. Absolutely goddamn beautiful. Alright, I want to see what's back here, though. This door, like I say, I love this. I can't wait to come up here when we're in Quantum. Um, this thing also does Quantum in like seven minutes from here to Art Corp. So it's a pretty quick ship. So you're not going to see much of Quantum. What is this? This is nice. I like the dark. Look at that for a window. Alright. Is this a door? Door. Is this a door? Door. Alright, so you come in here. What is this? Another gorgeous fish tank. It's like a private table. Private kitchen, right? Yeah, private kitchen. There's no way this is the captain's quarters. This is the freaking captain's quarters, guys. Holy shit, the bed. This is the captain's quarters. Look at the size of this, then. So you've got a private kitchen over on this side. A massive bed with a TV. And that, again, that'd have some, like, ocean or something out there. Is this a bathroom? Sure, bloody is. You've got a nice bathroom. Same size as the other ones. I like it. Oh, my God. Now, this is what I call a captain's quarters. What's in here? What's this door? Oh my god. Wait, this whole thing wraps around? Holy shit. This is by far the nicest captain's quarters. Oh look, you can see through. You can't on this one. Is this supposed to be? I don't know. But that's cool. So this is... Hold on, i got to look outside. So there's where you fly. And then this whole side, people can chill out here as well. But then this whole area here, see, this makes you want to be a captain. This is where you'd want to be. You've got a little area where you could just hang out. Beautiful view. Beautiful, like, you know, where you have private dinner with your family or whatever. Friends. Beautiful, beautiful view out there. That obviously goes to your bathroom or your bedroom. This is sick. And then on the other side, what was the other side again? Your own private bar. This is sick. And then this is your captain's office, right? This is your control deck. Oh, and you've got a baby little 890 jump. I want one of those in real life. That's sick. I'm sure they sell them. 
They should, if they don't. This is sick. Like, this for a captain's quarter, best one. Best one I've seen so far. I don't know. I can't imagine even the javelin and things like that. Because they're not, they're, they're military ships. This is a yacht. So obviously the captain's quarters of a yacht is insane. The other thing though, realistically, captain's quarters wouldn't look like this. Because in a yacht, you have someone drive you around. And you're not necessarily the captain. You have someone else running it. So maybe this isn't the captain's quarters. Maybe this is the owner's quarters, I should say. Because maybe the captain, you know, isn't necessarily... Because if you owned this, would you be the captain? You know what I mean? Probably not. You'd have someone else driving it or flying it. And you're just living luxury like this. Either way, it's freaking sick. It's freaking sick. Absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10. Let's continue on our tour, though. Because I'm pretty sure there's a whole deck we haven't been to yet. All right, now I'm lost. How do I get out of here again this way? I mean, you know it's a big ship when you get lost in the captain's quarters. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize they had an up. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. All right, so we've been up here. We've been over there. Now let's go back downstairs. And I want to take the elevators now. Because I think we've done everything in here. The only place I haven't been is downstairs. Where for art thou elevators? Kitchen crew hangar. I think that's going to be it. So, I think the reason they're different is because if you take this one, you'll go directly to the hangar. And if you take this one, you'll go to the kitchen and crew. So, let's see. Let's see what the crew's quarters look like. So far, we have four guest rooms and then the captain's room, which could be the main guest room, I guess. Spa, uh, crew kitchen. Gotta be careful on these bloody elevators, I tell you. All right. Yeah, this makes more sense. Crew kitchen. I like it. Alright. So this has got a lot of... What's this door? There were so many doors, guys. Escape pods. Alright, so you have the crew's escape pods. The big crew, obviously. What is this? What the bloody hell is this? What is this? Enter seat. This is like engineering? Pilot seat? You can pilot this thing from down here? You know 100% I'm going to try that out in a minute. But first we got to we gotta continue looking around. Okay, so this is cargo. This place is massive. Okay, remember this staircase? Remember that, guys? That's from before when we almost died. Oh, and that's the elevator that was next to it. We don't need to do that. And then that's the elevator on the other side. Okay, so this down here... Is the cargo area. Which we'll look at here in a second. There's just so many doors. Weapons rack. Weapons rack. Are these all weapons rack? Weapons rack. Guests. Oh, guests that way. Yeah, we're not. Okay, so this is the opposite side. So this is where the hangar was. Look at these doors. The inside of the ship is just massive. It's a TARDIS. Med bay. Beautiful, like a proper med bay. I like it. We're not going to lay down because we're not dying. All right, I like it. What else is back here? What is this door? Is this like a cruise waiting lounge? Oh, this is a waiting lounge. I know what this is. Hangar. Wait. Is this where we just were? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So this... I mean, this is just... This is... Okay, you have a pool table for the crew. Guys, this ship is just massive. Okay, this is crew quarters. These are actually sick. I wonder if you can log out in these. You know what I mean? So you wake up and this is like your Port Alisar. You just wake up and you're inside of this ship. Crew quarters. Not bad, actually. It's a lot bigger than Port Alisar. I like it. Very nice and clean. And these are all, I'm assuming. Yeah. Beautiful. And this is where they all hang out and chill together. This would be sick, imagine. And then this is the kitchen and this takes us back to where we were, right? No, wait. What? What is this? This cat's up. Sorry. This thing is just massive. All right. This is the kitchen where we started off. So wait, that was the hangar. What is this? This isn't the hangar. 
cargo bay. So this is where I get confused. So this cargo bay, as you guys can see, wow, my hair's white. Uh, this cargo bay, as you guys can see, is massive. It's a massive cargo bay, but there's only enough storage for 36 units. Where this realistically should be like a thousand units, right? This should be massive. What is this? The engine room? Oh my god. Yeah, this thing's got incredible jump drive. I'm sorry, this ship's just massive. I keep seeing new things. I'm so glad I didn't do this in the other video. Wait, that's an elevator. We're not going up the elevator. Sorry. This is huge. This is cool. And then I'm assuming the other side's the same thing. What's this? Jump drive. So this is the jump drive. Yeah, this thing's got a massive... Can you open these? This thing's got a massive jump drive. And then another engine room. So it's got two ginormous engines. And then you got... the See, cargo bay. This is what's confusing. There's not a lot of cargo that fits in here. Oh, wait. This is the elevator. So if I press this... The bottom... Now that makes sense. So this is where you can bring up your cars. Wait. Huh? Oh, wait. Gee, this is so cool. So even if people were to come in here, they couldn't technically get all the way up because of this... So it stops to decompress. That's freaking cool. So you drive your car in, obviously when this thing's on land. You drive the car in, or your truck, or whatever it is. And then boom. This part comes up. Which is sick. And then it stops. I'm assuming it's decompressed or something in there. And then, once it's decompressed, the rest of it comes up. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. I like it a lot. All right, so let's go back to the waiting room because now the waiting room makes more sense. But before we do that, what the bloody hell is this? Life support. Shield generator. Oh yeah, this thing has like some massive shields. I can't do anything. Yeah, like I told you guys, they say that this you can't take one of these out. No matter what ship you're in, you can't blow this thing up. All right, let's get to the um, the waiting room because now I know it's actually a super cool thing. So, the waiting room, you can fly your ship. That's the elevator. Oh, no. You can fly a ship into here. Which way was it? This way? I'm getting lost. I'm trying to find where we're going. We're just we're doing it. We're doing it, okay? We're just doing it backwards. What are you? Oh, this was the bathroom. Okay. Is it this way? Here. Okay. Hold on. What was this one? I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the turret. So if you want to fight crime, this is the turret. Oh, the guys, this ship is just huge. I'm sorry. So basically, this right here is the waiting area once you get off your ship. So this is, that's why it looks beautiful. It's the waiting lounge. So let's play it through. Let's do a little role play right here. Uh, let me first see what the hell this door is because I don't know. I really don't know. There's too many doors on this bloody thing. There's too many doors. What are you? An elevator. I don't even know where this elevator goes. Turret or hangar? Let's go to turret, just because I'm curious, because over there was turret. So where's there another turret? Oh, it's literally an, just another turret. Let's not fall through the floor again. Hangar. So you have an elevator that takes you to another turret on the ship. I mean, you need it, because this thing doesn't really have a lot of defenses. All right. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is sick. So if you're obviously a VIP, if you will, you're a very important person, you are going to fly to this ship. Oh, look at that basketball hoop. That's so cool. 
So look. Close anchor doors, coal elevator. Look at this. If you're a very important person, this is how you travel. You're gonna fly on over. And then this thing is gonna come all the way up. This is so sick. This is so sick. And then what you're gonna do... Hold on. This is cool. Alright, so now the hangar's up. So now you're gonna land on that, and once you've landed... We're gonna bring you back down again, and your ship is gonna be on this! How bloody cool is this? So your ship is gonna be on there. That's it. That is so cool. And then the hangar doors close. So I could theoretically have my own ship in here right now, but I don't. It would be cool if you could, like, get your own. Uh, I don't know. I guess you need to park it in here. You know what I mean? Like, requ request your ship. But there's no storage, like, ship storage on this, so it makes sense that it doesn't have that. But that's cool. So, yeah, this is what would happen. You'd land here, and you'd welcome them, them. And then you'd go through this door, and then you'd, you'd, this is the waiting area. So then you'd wait here, then the captain would come, and the captain wouldn't take you to the med bay. The captain would take you down here, and then here you go. You don't go that way, the guest would then come here, and you'd go up to the spa, or wherever the bloody hell you wanted to go. Let's just go to the foyer. It's pretty cool, you can't deny this ship is sick. I mean, it's a bit too big. It's not fun at all to pilot. And here you are at the bloody foyer. You come here, go straight to the bar. That would be me. Straight in here. Come find me later. That is sick, though. This is cool. This is really cool. So upstairs, realistically... I mean, this is kind of dangerous. No barrier there. But upstairs... I like how it's got this on here, too. Suite 3, Suite 4, Bar and Lounge, which is through that door. Upstairs is basically just for the captain, then. Because you've got that, and then that. What the hell is that? That reflection makes it look so weird. Um, so you've got the captain's quarters, and then that. That one does too. I thought there was, like, two ships coming for us. All right, so, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this into Quantum, and um, we'll see what it looks like. I can't wait. I did say I wanted to test out downstairs, though, the pilot thing. We'll go in Quantum first, and then we'll test it. All right, here we bloody go, ladies and gents. We've been parked here all day. Look at this beauty. It's a good-looking ship. You can't deny it. There's a reclaimer down there. We got our 600i up there. There was a bunch of these things. Okay, there's another one over there. There's a lot of them here today, okay? There's a lot of them. All right, let's put this thing in reverse. Let's get out of here properly. Beautiful ship. Beautiful ship. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are off to our corp. And that is just going to be it. That is going to be it. As soon as we get to our cup. So let's see how this thing looks. I can't wait. I can't wait. Look how heavy this thing is. Just trying to turn it. <laughs> this thing's a freaking behemoth. Alright, let's get spooling. I don't know if I can make it past there, to be completely honest with you. You know what? We're, not even, we're just going to sit here and spool. There's too many bad guys out there. I don't want to be taken out. So yeah, you can see on the top, that's where you land. That's literally the landing pad. That is so cool. Oh, this ship's amazing. All right, we should be spooled. Sure are. Don't get pulled out. Don't get interdicted. All right, it looks like we're in quantum. Ladies and gentlemen, the beauty is in quantum. Let's go see what this thing looks like from inside. So obviously, if you're the pilot or part of the crew here. You know, these views are cool, but they're not the greatest. They're not the greatest. Wait, what was this? I'm so confused. What the hell is that? Anyone know what that is? Because I've not a clue. All right, look at that. That is insane. Look. <laughs> Get that for a review. Oh my god, that's insane. All right, let's go downstairs. Where was all the cool views? I can't even remember. Was this the bar? 
Yeah, it is. Or oh, the restaurant. I can't remember. The bar. 10 out of 10 for views, let's be honest. But this. This is where I wanted to go. Front. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is bloody it. This is where you'd want to sit. Maybe not in this seat because you don't get the view. But look at this. <laughs> oh, I just want to be friends with someone that owns one. I don't want to own one myself. I just want to be friends with someone that does. Because I just want to be a passenger. You know what I mean? I don't want to pilot this thing because it is not fun to pilot. But it's, it's gorgeous. All right. So the thing I wanted to test out. Wait, can I just jump up here? And, no. The thing I wanted to test out was the... Um, like, downstairs, they had an area that was part... It said, like, captain's um, seat, like the pilot seat, but it was downstairs. I'm so confused. We've got to test it out. All right, we've got to find it, though, because I don't know where it is. Weapons rack. I think it was through this door. Wait, was it? Downstairs, we had turrets. Engine room. Was it in? Was it part of the engine room? I can't bloody remember. Oh, that was an elevator. Never mind. It wasn't part of the engine room. I mean, this thing's pretty sick, though. We have to be quick, though, because this thing literally quantums super fast. All right, so it's not down here. Got to be in here. There it is. This is the badger. Enter pilot seat. What the hell does this thing do? All right. How do I... Power on. Power off. Oh shit, I just pulled us out of quantum. I didn't mean to do that. So I can pilot it from here. I can hear the shit moving. Listen. Yeah, I'm definitely piloting this thing. Um, is there a button for a camera? Open exterior. No. Press to unlock. No. I'm confused. I'm probably going to have to go back upstairs to get this thing back in quantum because I've just pulled us out of quantum. But it says you can fly it from here. I'm not opening exterior or any of this. I know once someone said there's a camera. Anything? This doesn't seem to do anything at all. I'm so confused. How can I per possibly fly the ship from here? I can feel that I'm flying it. Look. Like I am 100% flying this thing. from down here but see I can go into quantum oh wait no I want to go wait stop moving no Let's see if I can get to quantum from here No, let's let's first let's find this bloody. Are we or? Set route to area eighteen. There we go. Our corp. Wait, I think we're spooling to it. I think we're actually gonna be able to get out it. I think I'm piloting the ship from down here. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going, but I'm pretty sure we're getting there. Ladies and gentlemen, patience. We're still spooling. It takes a long time to spool. It's a pretty big ship, okay? All right, I think we spooled. We're going. We're actually bloody doing it. You can't see anything. Oh, you hear that? I think we've only bloody done it. Yay! <laughs> Oh, so we did manage to pilot from down there. Good to know. I don't know why, though. Is there a reason for this? Like, I, I don't see the point in piloting from down here. Why wouldn't you want to just do it from up top? Hmm. All right, let's get out of this seat. I don't know why you would want to pilot from down here. Someone's going to have to let me know. What does it say on the door? Anything? Control. That's it. All right. All right, guys. I'll meet you upstairs. All right, guys. That's almost it. We're at our corp. We're going to be landing this beast there and then calling it a day. But what an adventure it's been in this thing. I do like it. It's a fun ship. Like I say, if someone else owns one, I'll more than happy be a passenger. 
But I don't know. But I also want to sleep in that master bedroom. Oh, the captain's quarters was insane. But uh, other than that, I, it's, it's beautiful. It's an absolute beast. I love it. Let's get down here on our court. I can't find the bloody landing bay. Like, I literally can't find... Area 18's... <laughs> Where the freaking hell? I've tried. I'm trying to find it. It was supposed to be just beneath me. Oh my god, look at the lag. This is what happens when you have an expo on at Area 18. Wait, are we going down? Don't go down. Alright, there's the expo. I'm pretty sure that purple thing is the expo. I just can't find actual Area 18. Like, I quantum to it. And it's nowhere in sight. And I don't even see... Like, I see a lot of people over there, so we're gonna go over there. I see people flying over there. That's where we're headed. Do you guys see where we're bloody going? Because I bloody well don't. I think it's over here. Wait, does that look like the landing area? That's the expo right beneath us. You see that cutlass black on top? Here's the airport. Why the bloody hell did it pull me out of quantum so far away from the airport and then tell me... It'll not tell me where the airport was. Riddle me that. Alright, we're bloody well here now. First time landing one of these bad boys at an airport. Let's see how well we do. Anyone see our little... Where we're supposed to be landing this behemoth? Anyone? How long are you going to take? Am I going to have to literally fly and almost land before you tell me where my landing area is going to be? Hello? Game? Today, please. Big ship coming in. Big ship, very close. Would like to know location of landing. How close do you want me to go? Like, let's be honest. Oh, I can see it's over here. There we bloody go. This ship's too big for your bullshit. I can't see a thing. The glare. Oh, I can't even land there. Area 18 is the... I hate it. I hate you, Area 18. I hate the red. They need to just get rid of the red. Like this red crap that if you go, if you just sneeze on it, your ship explodes. I can see where I'm supposed to be going now, though, at least. Jesus. All right, we're just going to have to do this like a pro and not even look. There we bloody go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the 890 video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like, subscribe. If you do, turn on notifications and all that good stuff. And I hope to see you again soon. It was fun. The 890 is a goddamn beast. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a beautiful ship. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I, I don't even know what day it is because I recorded this during the expo. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye, 890. You were beautiful. Goodbye. Oh, the satisfaction. See you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. <laughs>